Here is a tutorial on how to make custom carts in Mario Kart Wii. Now these are just a visual thing, but it's still a pretty fun thing to make and it's not that tedious to actually do. In the description you can find a download link to all the tools that I actually used in this tutorial, so you can just find them all in one place. So the first thing you want to do is grab a game dump, which is essentially the game's files, which is located in the data folder in the game. Now you need this so you can actually overwrite the original cart model. This process is a lot quicker in Dolphin, so you're going to right click Mario Kart Wii, scroll down here, find the file system button, right click on the disk, extract the entire disk and then save it wherever you want to. Now it would appear with this loading bar and you just have to wait for it to extract the entire disk. All it's doing right now is essentially grabbing all the game's data and storing it into that folder that you specified. Now I'm going to go on a site which is pretty popular and that is the models resource. It's essentially a place where you can get 3D models. Now I'm going to rip a vehicle from Mario Kart Double Dash as Double Dash is pretty lightweight and not that high poly so it should be easy to port to Mario Kart Wii. Once you've found the 3D model you want to click on the model that would actually like overwrite the original cart and then click on download Download zip archive, then go into file explorer, right click on the zip, extract all, and then extract. Now you want to open up brawl crate and then click on file open, and then locate the cart folder which is right here, I'll just show you guys on screen. Now a lot of these file names are quite confusing so if you want to figure out which cut you might actually want to overwrite I recommend checking in the description as there's a website which has all the file names which I'll definitely leave down below. Once you opened up your carts.szs file you want to scroll down here and click on the model then onto the body file then right click export Make sure to save it as a DAE though and not an MDL0. And now we have the time where we have to open up Blender. Now this isn't a Blender tutorial but I'll show you some of the basics that we need to know to actually follow along with this tutorial. Once it finally boots up just click anywhere on the screen. Now here we're going to press the delete key to get rid of all of that unnecessary junk and then click on file import collab DAE and then locate the cart model. Now you could zoom out with the scroll wheel and you could use this button here and then texture now I actually forgot to export the texture itself I also like to enable the statistics um, you could move the camera around and pan it any way you want but now we're going to go and file import collab DAE or whatever the file type is of the model that you got from the models resource locate it and then import it now if you notice that your model has these bone things which are essentially these triangles right here you want to remove them so the way to remove it is by selecting the armature shift selecting the whole model and then click on object apply all transforms and now just delete the armature but now we just have to realign the cart so that it matches with the original whether that be scaling it rotating it moving it whatever you want just as long as you can align it as close as possible so it's the best it could possibly be. Okay so once the cart is aligned just delete the original cart model and don't do what I accidentally did and actually delete the original cart model and not the new one. So now you're left with the brand new model and not the original. So you're going to click on file export collab DAE, name it whatever you want and now it's time to load Brawl Crate again. So when you're in Brawl Crate you want to right click the body file, replace, locate the new model from Blender and then make sure you have these settings. Once that is done you'll see that your model is here but there aren't the textures, it's just white. Well, we have to figure out what the name is so we're going to scroll down to this material section, find this name right here, click on rename if you want and then control copy, now you can back out. Now go into the textures, body, replace, locate the texture file and then you just want to rename it by right clicking and then renaming it by pasting in the new name from the material and it should match with the material name and done. Now your cart has a texture. My texture is kind of broken on the cart and um, just pretend it's not okay I don't know why it's like that I heard some people say something about a UV flip or something like that but I don't fully understand it so I'll just save it how it is 
and it's pretty much ready to get tested in game. Just make sure to go on file and then save it somewhere so you have it backed up. Now this part right here you want to click on start with revolution patches, open an XML, locate it, open up the XML file and then make sure it says enabled. By default it would say disabled but make sure it says enabled. Now I left it in the description so you can download a template of the my stuff folder and then you slap the cart file in the my stuff folder. Okay so my cart mod went over toad on the standard cart so we're just going to load a quick race and voila you've successfully modded Mario Kart Wii to make custom carts. Hope you enjoyed this video as I also enjoyed making it. Anyway, bye.